Okay. Hey, everybody. So it's uh, it's interesting how you know when you got a camera on your face, or at least when I have a camera on my face, my like natural uh, disposition kind of like changes, or maybe my natural disposition can change. But it does feel like it. And I, I I feel on the spot and like I have to like explain something or like you know I have to entertain someone or <laughs> you know. So that makes me kind of self-conscious, and I'm working on that trying to get through that to a more comfortable teaching style. That's not even teaching. It's just me playing and trying to explain my process so that other people can maybe try it and do it because it feels really good. Um, it's phenomenal when, when you can really just like play or when I can really play and let go and feel really relaxed in it. I can have an experience of myself that's really profound my thoughts what comes to mind when you're totally trying to concentrate and you're in a deep space it's it, you can work out some really you know some tensions and stresses and uh, annoyances and frustrations and all that stuff just through your body it like it vibrates your body in those places and then you get these kind of thoughts that are caught up in little muscle spasms sort of and then you're like identify the muscle spasm and you're like oh I'm a little bit tense there and then you'll feel like the energy in it like Ugh. and um, sometimes that'll even come as a thought form or a person or you know what I mean but then with drumming there's this you have to use your arms like the idea is that you're getting more and more in your body and you're, you're more and more present in your body and um just relaxed and it kind of lends a density mm. to your whole being and not just the physical being it's like this is pervaded by an energy field which is more real than it that came first sort of like these energy fields have always existed like B flat has always existed the resonance, although at some point maybe there is a first, but my point is that it, it's pre, it, it, it has a place in the natural field. Um, it's an expression of the natural field, harmonics. emphasis is. So like the moon has a period, and the earth has a period, and the sun has a period. And um, the music of the spheres, that idea, for me, relates to this, in that when we consider the planets in the solar system, and how they all go around the sun, in an ovular pattern, right? Mm -hmm. So when they come all the way around back to where they were last time, or at least as close as they're going to get, because it's always a little bit off. Mm -hmm. No planet goes in the same place twice, because we're moving with the sun too, which has its own vector and path. They, these periods have harmonics. These waves align with certain other waves in a way that magnifies both of them. Hmm. Wow, now I'm thinking of people. Huh. That would make sense. So this extrapolated into the area of music that's how you have, you hit one key, you hit a note on a piano, and seven other notes kind of will go at the same time if they're not muted. You know, or more, whatever. Um, this harmonic relationship, if we can relax into it, then we align with the density of the movement of the planets, or the spin of the Earth. 
And we don't have to focus on any one of them because all of them are expressions of the same ultimate. So if you can get to the ultimate waveform that pervades everything, mm -hmm. then that's the like, then you are, are automatically aligned with any expression of that. So if you get to the, the deeper one, all the subsequent smaller ones mm -hmm. are variations on that, not the other way around. Although it is reflexive, but the, you can have one without the other. The permutations that come afterwards are beholden unto a certain um, gravity 